little tutorial on how to make the ovals. I'm going to do the tutorial on how to make the ovals um, to use with Jamberry Nail Art Studio. Um, on this one, I'm going to do it in Pixlr, P I X L R um, dot com. So you'll go to Pixlr.com, um, select the Pixlr editor, let it pull up, and you're going to create a new image. Um, I'm not going to go with the preset. I'm going to go a little bigger than a preset. I'm going to go to about 2000 on both sides, on both width and height. And it doesn't have to be exact, but I like to get it close. Um, and I want it to have a transparent background, so I'm going to check transparent. Then I'm going to click OK. And that's going to give me a transparent background. I'm then going to use the shape tool over here, the drawing tool. And I'm going to choose the circle up at the top, the, or the ellipse tool, as it's called on here. Um, and I can change my fill shape color up here. Um, I'm going to choose a kind of peachy color. And that's probably pretty good. And I'm going to set OK. Um, and then I'm going to draw my oval. And that's really as simple as it is. Um, it doesn't take much. If you want a border on it, so you want like um, a border, you can do a border, however big or small you want it to be, um, or no border at all at zero. Um, this has a border of one on it right now um, <coughs> because I didn't take that off before I did it. But just for this example, that'll be fine. Um, I'm going to then go to File and Save. And I want to save it as a PNG file so that it will be transparent still in the background. And I'm going to call it Oval Peach. Um, and I press OK. And it's going to pull up the thing asking me where I want to save it after it finishes working, of course. And I want it to go into my Jamboree file, so that's where I want. And I'm going to hit save. <coughs> and it's going to finish working. Okay, so now it saved that. Now I can go over to where I have NOS already opened. Um, if you don't know how to get into NOS, um, check out one of my other videos. It'll show you step by step how to get in there. I'm going to then go and find that file, so I'm going to hit select file, and I called it oval peach, so I should be able to find it pretty easily. Oval peach, hit open, and then I'll hit upload, so that it'll upload. It usually uploads pretty quick because it's not a big file, it's a fairly small file. Um, then I'll click on it so that it goes into my area over here to work with, maybe. Come on. My computer's acting slow today. And not wanting to, there it goes. Alright, um, then I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Oh, I did put it in there more than once. Delete. This, I put it in there a bunch of times. I need it in there twice, so if I only put it in there twice, I'm going to leave it how it is. I did. Alright, so I need it in there twice, so I'm actually going to do this. And I like to have mine lined up with that line right there, the middle line. And I might bring it down a little bit, make it a little bit smaller, and kind of line it up. Um, then I need to bring this die down a little bit so that it's a little bit smaller. And it's still bigger than the other one, I think. You can tell if it's bigger than the other one by trying to line up those dots. And actually, they're almost exact, but a tiny bit off. Alright, they're the same size now. Um, and then you just want to line it up where it looks straight. 
And sometimes it's kind of hard to tell if it looks straight or not. The more elongated you make your oval, the more elongated your, your curve's going to be. Um, if you make it more of a circular shape, it's going to have less of that, that big curve right there. So if you want it to be a smaller curve than that, then you want to make it more circular, not so elongated. But I'm going to apply that to the first two, so 1A and 1B. And then I'll go on to wrap two. I want to make sure that it's still lined up right. And I usually at wrap two need to bring it down a little bit. And apply that to the second wrap. And go on to wrap three. And usually I need to bring it down again once I get to wrap three. And I want to make sure that I'm getting it as close to that as I can. Apply to three. And now this is this should be similar to a medium wrap that you would buy um, on Jamboree's site. Um, if you wanted it to be more like a smaller wrap, you would want to keep the top of your thing underneath that line. Um, I like I personally like the medium wraps better. That's why I make mine this way. Um, but if you're doing it for a customer and you know they personally like the um, smaller wraps better, you want to go under that. If they like the longer wraps better, you want to go well, a, at least a little bit, a, quite a bit above the line. But I like the medium ones the best, so that's why I keep with that line. And they may not be perfect. You may have to go in and do some adjusting. Um, to get them to look more like what you're looking for, what you're trying for. Sometimes I have to do more adjusting than others, um, depending on what size I made my oval or how, what, how elongated I made my oval. I almost always have to do adjusting on every wrap um, when I do these. And you can just hit apply if you've clicked down here to choose your size. Um, once you get it lined up, you can hit apply instead of doing the apply to multiple if you're wanting it on both sides of that wrap. And it will put it in on both sides like I did with six. I'm going to do it again with seven. Apply. And it applied it to seven on both the top and the bottom. Um, then we'll go down to <coughs> size 8. Apply. And size 9. And apply. Alright, then I can preview it. make sure that it looks all lined up. My 9, if I was actually going to order these, I would go in and adjust the 9 and the 8 a little bit because they're kind of off a little bit. They don't look straight on there, so I would want to adjust that a little bit. Um, and I might even go in and adjust that one, that especially that 1A. Um, it looks a little funky to me. Um, but that's basically how you do an oval using Pixlr and then do putting it into the NOS design site. So thank you, I hope you have a great day, and you enjoyed this video and it helped you out some.